Testing one. Hi, this is Gabby Romani, editor in chief of Mephiar.com. With me, I have Kenny Parker or Nigo. He goes by mad names. We have to find out about him, so stay tuned. Yeah. Kenny Parker. Because I just thought you just had a name change. I didn't know that backstory. Well, actually, I started off as Kenny Parker. Mm -hmm. And then when I noticed that I actually wanted to do music and that there wasn't anybody, because you know, people would run around calling themselves like Waterfowl. Um, the new like slang, they give themselves that nickname. Yeah. So I was like, well, nobody has an ego, and I really like babe, and I wear a lot of babe. So I was just like, you know what? Let me call myself Nigo for right now. And the people were like, oh, that's Black Nigo, Black Nigo, Black Nigo. It was actually something I said in a freestyle. I was like, oh, all this babe shit gets some young Black Nigo. And then I was just like, that was kind of cool. So I just went and ran with that. <clears throat> and then when I got my fan base up, I was just like. Okay, I have, to, I have to be Kenny Parker. I have to be my original name because, one, I actually don't want to be called Nigo. And some the people who don't know who Nigo is, they're like, oh, why are you calling yourself? Like, people thought it was Nigo. Like, and I'm just like, nah, it's not that. So I was like, all right, I have to go from that. And then um, also, he trademarked his name. He copyrighted his name. So even if I wanted to be known as that, I, I can't do that because he'll be like, Okay, you're getting sued right now, so that's why I changed that. So if you was in a dream collaboration right now, who would it be? Like top three? Top three. Um, aside from a couple of my friends, I really want to work with Chaz from Tori I would love to work with him. Um, definitely Max B. Max B is everything. No homo. <laughs> no homo. That's why I have, that's actually, it's not me, the main reason why I have long hair, but like, he's kind of the reason. I was like, you know what? That shit look fucking fire. Like, he got long, silky ass hair. Nigga look like a pimp. I'm trying to look like a pimp too. Alright, so, Max Bay, he's one of your dream collabs. Does he inspire you? Said Max Bay. Max B. Oh, that's your B. Anyway. <laughs> no, so Max B inspires you. I mean, he's your dream collab. Does he inspire you too? Mm, yeah. yeah, he does a lot. So, like, what would be like your main inspiration, like artistically? In like, general. Be, in general, yeah. Um, I don't know, just life, life experiences and stuff like that. I never really thought of that. What inspires me? So, like, what makes you want to make like Goyard? Um. Mm, well, I just want to put people in that mood. Like, I. I really like to make mood music. Yeah. That's my kind of. Um, I guess that would be my genre as well. If I had to make a genre, it would be mood music. I just like, you know, you wake up in the morning and you play certain music because you want to feel a certain way in the morning. You walk down the street, you wear nice clothes, and you don't want to hear depressing music when you wear nice clothes. You probably put on some really good music that you're just like. Um, Mm, I don't know. I just want to feel swag, you know. I want to feel swag. So you listen to that, and then like a lot of people before they um they go out to a party, well, you a lot of people are listening to Waka Flocka, like Travis Scott. They're like going ham. Oh, all right, we're about to go to the party right now. Yeah. That's mood music. So that's what I want to make. I want to make you feel like all right, yeah. Uh, I went out. I hustled hard to go before to get this. Um, like, you know, certain, certain music, certain music makes me do certain things, um. So, like, you're, when you say full of money, full of money, my whole crew, that's like... How do you music. feel about that? You, you just, you just think full of money, full of money. That, it makes like, me want to get money. You, exactly. That's mood. It makes my, it makes me want to push mm -hmm. my clit to get money, but we probably... Exactly. Cause we, <laughs> yeah, you could. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying. Alright, so, like, mood music. So like I guess what music puts you in a good mood, you know? Mm -hmm. It can be any genre. Um a lot of Tori, you got the cameraman, he's passing around. Right please please yeah, excuse him. Please excuse him. I saw you right there. I saw the whole thing. Action. Okay. Who would you compare yourself in the industry right now? Um Kanye West. Really? Why? Because I am the greatest. Really? Alright. Yes. I mean, like Kanye. Other than that, nobody. 
Really, just Kanye West. Just Kanye West. Really? So what is it about like Kanye West that you like, you fuck with? His style is original. He know how to make his own money in different True. ways. He's not. He doesn't really care what other people think. You know what I mean? Like he's doing his own type of music. That's, That's why every every album that he drops or Jeez. song pretty much changes. Yeah. Cause he he's like you know I'm tired of that flow. I'm just gonna do my own own original thing. And then even all the other rappers that people like um, were against him, they still end up using his shit somehow. Sure. And they, if they bump into Kanye West, even if they don't like him, they take a picture with him, no doubt. Because they sure. feel like, you know, he's awesome. Like, on the low. So like many people think like Kanye gets his style from Cuddy. Do you like agree with that? Um, I don't think so. I mean, like I don't really know their relationship aside from music, but I do feel like they're actually friends. So that's like saying, yeah, you copy your friend style, you know, like, no, it's just we all hang out together. I like how my homie wears his hat a certain way. So I start wearing my hat like that. And it's like we all inspire each other. You know? Yeah, and then he, he yeah. likes the way, like, I don't know, I tie a bandana or like shoes and then he does that. So now he has my hat style or my shoe style. Blackbird, like vice versa, whatever you get it. So I just feel like no, no, you can't just be like, yeah, he stole his style. That's true. So like on the EP, cause I don't think we talk about the EP a lot. Um, what's your favorite song on the EP? What inspired the project? Like, um, <clears throat> well, I don't know. I was just at my homeboy's house one day. Oh, with Jason, that's the producer, of Black Neo EP. Um, he was just playing certain beats and it was mood, like mood music. Like, Go Yard, when I heard Go Yard, I was just like, all right, full of money, full of <laughs> money. And that's how it made me feel, like I want to walk down the street, like, swing it, like. So, that's kind of just like the inspiration, it just kind of like came by itself. I didn't really see anything, it was just the, the beat. And I knew him for so long that we like shared like life experiences. So, I don't know, he's just like a brother, so it was kind of, yeah, we won't do this together, blah, 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 blah. So, I guess that inspired me too, that he's the homie. Um, Is that your favorite song on the It's actually, movie? it's actually not. I'm supposed to tell you, yeah, because that is the song that, like, yeah, it kicked off, but it didn't kick off yet. Okay. So, what's more to come? Yeah, there's way more to come. Um, I really like Murder Scene. That's my favorite song. If you listen, that's the only song that I actually sound kind of aggressive in. Um, Wyoming Street, I was kind of aggressive, but not as much as uh, Murder Scene. I actually re-recorded Murder Scene like two or three times because it didn't sound like how I wanted it to sound. It sounded too like slow. I wanted it to sound like that passion. So, Murder Scene, and then if I had to pick like a second one, Kaleidoscope. I actually really like Kaleidoscope. At first, I didn't really like it because it didn't come out how I wanted it to sound originally. It's supposed to sound way better than that, but it still hits. It still slaps. And I really like that song. It's like, just, okay. I, <laughs> now, speaking of like being aggressive and stuff, like, what do you like describe the way you rap? You know, not like specifically the style, but like the way. Because you know how like some people are like they're gangsters, like they rap really hard or about the streets or whatever. Like, how would you say your sound is? Um, I don't really think I have a sound. Like, okay, I'm sorry. I say again. <laughs> no, like, okay, so. People like have a certain style. Like, okay, if I if I heard Drake, for example, like I would think kind of soft. Like, I love Drake, but that's like, crazy. That's not nice. I know, no, 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 not soft in a way that he's whack. Soft in a way that like I, I want to listen to this like when I'm like feeling down, or I want to listen to this when Sad I'm like, voice. yeah, I listen to a lot of Drake. Drake taught me a lot. So like, I'm saying like, you know what I mean? Like someone like Drake, I would say like he's not like a hardcore rapper or that should like whatever a hardcore rapper is. Mm -hmm. Like, if someone heard D DMX, like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, that, like you said, mood music, that's putting you in a mood, like, you kind of want to shoot somebody. Yeah. And that's true, you want to fuck someone up. Damn, I keep cursing. You want to beat somebody up. So, 
Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what's like your style? Drake's not soft. Drake's not soft. I fuck with Drake. I like hey, Drake. Yo, no. Anyway. Um, I don't know. I don't really like to say the word swag, but swag. <laughs> <laughs> swag. That's no, my that's word. real. I don't know. You just feel wavy. No, that's so, true. Like, similar to like a, hmm, who would I would say like, like who would you compare yourself to besides like Kanye? Like, so like you could say your style is similar to. If I had to say somebody, it's just that I don't, I don't want people to start sitting down thinking like, oh yeah, he kind of does sound like him. Like I would say, Dang, don't I would say, say, say the, you don't want to say. I'll say blank. 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 All right, that's good. Okay, so being an EP. Speaking of your fans, like your fans are pretty crazy. Like you were saying, how like they buy you like bait and stuff like that. Nah, don't say this. Don't say this. Don't say this. No. Okay, cut nah. that out. Don't say like. Um, okay, where were you born? I don't know. No, I'm joking. I was born in Brooklyn, Long Island Hospital. Okay, so then, say you moved from Brooklyn to Chicago after you were three, mm -hmm. and then you lived there for. Um, 18 years or whatever, how old you are, minus three. Do you say that you're from Brooklyn, once in my ass? Or do you say I'm from Chicago? Because you've been living there for the majority you of You know what's funny? Like, I have a similar situation. I used to live in Georgia. I used to live in Atlanta. And, like, you know, grew up there, but born in Brooklyn, came back to Brooklyn. So, yeah, I used to say I'm from Brooklyn. Same for you? Yeah, and I mean, it kind of depends on the conversation that I'm having. I mean, like, who I'm speaking to. Because some people, I know they're going to be like, you're not from Chicago, you were just born there, you're from New York. So, certain people say different things, but I always thought that was good. That, the fans, before I got sweaty. Um, no, so, why do you feel your fans are so aggressive so early in your career? Because, you, you know the story about how your fan like cursed out your friend on Instagram and stuff like yeah. that. Why do you like feel they're so aggressive? I don't necessarily think that they're aggressive. I think they're just like uh, protective. Like that sounds really weird. No, I understand that. You know, but if let's just say, because they're I'm, uh, sorry, let me say that. Right here. I'm their favorite artist, or I might be their favorite artist. So if you saw somebody say something stupid to like one of your artists, well, you might not do it, but I see this all the time. No, oh, yeah. To like rappers and all that stuff. Especially like uh, like Tyler the Creator and all of them, they have some wild fans. So somebody be like, "Oh, Tyler, you suck," and another fan might not be you, but another fan be like, "Tyler doesn't suck," you know. So I think it was one of those. They they they're not necessarily being aggressive. They're just like trying to sh like share their opinion or like try to protect their favorite artist image, or, you know, like something like that. I don't really think that he was trying to be aggressive. So now, like, let's not say aggressive, but, like, so early in your career. Because, like, you named Tyler, like, I mean, he's pretty old. But you're early. He's pretty young. So, like, like, why do you think they, like, click with you so early in your career? Because I make mood music. Oh. They feel like they can yeah. relate to me. You know? I mean, they can, because I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say that I don't think a lot about my music. But I don't play anything that's too difficult to understand in my music, purposely. So it's easier for you to relate to me. Because I can't relate to Lupe Fiasco, but I don't think he sucks. But it's kind of hard to relate to him. So I intentionally make my music, you know, relatable. So, I don't know. That's why it's, it's easier for them to, like, they listen to me every day, or whatever the case may be. So they, they just feel connected to me, you know? Especially... That you made the fact that Tyler Creators are up and I'm like not really up. No, you're Well, up. not okay. I'm, yeah, you're up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they know that I'm going to see what they say. True. And I usually do see what they say. I might not respond, but guess what? I followed them and I liked a couple of their pictures. So that's why it's early. They want to be those fans that are like, oh yeah, I used to talk to Kenny Parker all the time. Or like, I have a couple of fans that they want me to come to their town because because of that I talk back to them. Like oh, my favorite artist actually talks back to me. Unlike crazy, like, certain people, like 
that's like really smart that you know that now because like they want to be recognized you know what i mean yeah. so that's smart and i have no problem them. like giving them free passes to my show because i speak to them i interact with them so much that i'm gonna remember even when i'm like making a hit record hit record hit record platinum 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 i'm still gonna be like oh yeah so and so i used to talk to him all the time he used to advise me on like they, that's for a good price, or so like, he'd be like, oh, there's a sale here. So since we talked back and forth, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, man, I'm in your town. And he's like, yo, you're coming to my town. I'm like, right, backstage, backstage, backstage. You gotta appreciate your fans, you know? Like, yeah. There's a lot of people that are pretty much in the same situation that I'm in musically, but they will not respond to their fans. They won't talk to them. It's just like they don't even see them. And I don't want to be like that, you know? There's no reason for you to not, I don't know. Like some nice picture, or like blah blah blah. It's kind of like recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're helping you get to where you are, and you should appreciate that. Without them, you wouldn't be there, and you probably wouldn't be acting that way. So you should like definitely speak to your friend at all times. That's true. So like speaking of like fan and stuff, like I guess like your friends are pretty young, cause or maybe they're your age, cause you're young now, but. Like, growing up, who were you, like, you would say, like, the biggest fan of? And not music. even musically. If you want music. It could be even an athlete. Athlete? Nah, it's music. Music. Yeah. Music would be Max B. I've actually been listening to Max B for a very long time. Very long time. Like, like, probably right before high school. And that was, like, 2006. Um... I don't, a lot of my inspiration is not really triggered by like people. Like it's just random things, and I kind of intentionally don't listen to other rappers. Not necessarily rappers, but mainly rappers, um, because I don't want to get sidetracked. Because I've actually been doing music for a very long time, even like recording myself. But I would always sound like a rapper that I was listening to at the time. I thought I was Kid Cudi at one point. I thought I was ASAP Rocky. And then I started listening to all of that, and I was just like, okay, I can actually think of songs now. Because, you know, I don't think any song that's on my EP that you listen to, you'd be like, oh, this is definitely inspired by somebody. Like, I sat down and I thought of these folks. Like, Go Yard 66, that, don't, that does not sound like any other song. I don't think that's how. It's smart, because, like, sometimes you're right. When you do listen to people, they do in like, it's like, subconsciously inspire you. Like, yeah. you don't go about, like, oh, I'm gonna copy Kid Cudi, like, but it does, like, come out that way, so that's yeah. more. So that's, yeah, that's something why I definitely stopped listening to other people. 